So, uh, President Begay, uh, dear uh, Bariam, uh, welcome back to NATO headquarters. Uh, it's great to see you here again. Uh, and uh, it is great to have a president of Albania that knows NATO so well as you do, um, because you have been the chief of defense of a country, and therefore uh, uh, we all know that you know this alliance uh, uh, in many, many different ways, and that is a strength uh, for uh, all of us and, uh, and for the whole organization. Albania uh, is a valued ally in, uh, with a long history of stepping up to support NATO allies and partners. You contribute uh, to NATO's multinational forces uh, in Latvia and in Bulgaria, helping to deter any aggression. And your forces serve in NATO's uh, peacekeeping mission uh, in Kosovo and our capacity building mission in Iraq. Last month, uh, your country responded uh, rapidly to the devastating earthquake in Turkey, sending search and rescue and medical personnel. Albania uh, also plays a key role in promoting stability uh, and cooperation across the Western Balkans, a region of strategic importance to NATO. I also welcome uh, your active role in promoting NATO's uh, open door policy. And I commend uh, Albania for ratifying the accession protocols for Finland and Sweden so quickly. This demonstrates that NATO's door remains open and that we stand for the right of every nation to choose its own path. All of these contributions uh, show Albania's strong commitment to our alliance. And NATO is committed to Albania. Allies stood with you following uh, the cyber attacks last year, and NATO experts provided urgent support. We are also investing in the uh, airbase, which will enhance the security of your airspace. Uh, and, Mr. President, uh, we just discussed Russia's brutal war of aggression against uh, Ukraine. President Putin is launching new offensives and waves of deadly missile attacks. Our response must be uh, to continue uh, providing Ukraine uh, with uh, what they need to prevail. Allies are stepping up with unprecedented support, and I welcome Albania's uh, pledge of aid. We must continue our support for as long as it takes. Today, we also discussed NATO's commitment to the Western Balkans. We agree on the importance of NATO's uh, presence in the region, including our K4 peacekeeping mission in Kosovo and our offices in Sarajevo and Belgrade. We're also stepping up our tailored support for Bosnia and Herzegovina to strengthen the defense capabilities and resilience. I welcome the progress that has been made in the EU facilitated dialogue between Belgrade and Pristina, and I hope for further constructive engagements over the next uh, weeks. NATO remains uh, strongly committed to the stability and the security of the Western Balkans, and I know that we can count on Albania's continued support. Uh, so, Mr. President, thank you again for Albania's many contributions to our shared security, to our alliance, and I look forward to continuing working with you. So, please welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Zodi Secretary Producium, Idash Riens, Zonia de Zotrini. Mr. Secretary General, Mr. Jens, ladies and gentlemen, allow me to first um, express my deep felt gratitude to NATO Secretary General Mr. Stoltenberg for the very fruitful meeting we held today. I highly appreciate your extraordinary work and leadership shown in these times of great challenges unprecedented for decades in our continent. It is over a year now that we are witnesses of a conventional war in Europe, an outcome of an unprecedented, unprovoked unpro uh, um, act of Russia against a sovereign state, Ukraine. This act has shaken peace, stability and security ar architecture in Europe. NATO has demonstrated cohesion, solidarity, unity, resoluteness, as well as response power to defend every inch and centimeter of the alliance territory and of the territory of its member states. In its uh, time of challenges, it's important uh, to uh, update uh, the uh, plans of uh, defense of the alliance. It is uh, particularly important to strengthen the aid group battalions in the Western wing of NATO. The current situation makes it indispensable for us to make order, peace, and international peace our focus. 
For this reason, enlargement of the alliance is an obligation. Therefore, membership of Sweden and um, uh, Finland are both welcomed and indispensable. I'm pleased to see that Albanian parliament is one of the first uh, uh, countries that has uh, ratified the accession of Sweden and Finland into NATO. In full coordination with the alliance, Albania stands uh, by the side of the alliance and um, will keep supporting Ukraine with political, diplomatic and military uh, support as well as humanitarian um, aid. At uh, the quality of uh, a non-permanent uh, member state at the UN Security Council, in cooperation with the US and EU, we will keep being proactive in maintaining cohesion, uh, that is international cohesion for Ukraine. At the Madrid summit, the alliance reconfirmed the strategic importance of Western Balkans. Despite progress towards Euro-Atlantic integration, the region features still a complex geographical and security developments. Russia is a significant threatening uh, towards NATO and uh, Western Balkans. It has stepped up its, has stepped up its um, uh, efforts uh, by using uh, methods of hybrid war, uh, political subversion, uh, illicit financing, and others. We have followed uh, with concern the events in the north of Kosovo at the end of last year. Albania congratulates uh, Serbia-Kosovo dialogue. Uh, since 2008, uh, the Republic of Kosovo is a sovereign and independent country with a clear vision to be integrated in the Euro-Atlantic family. The European plan for normalization of relations is a positive step, which uh, should uh, be culminating in the reciprocal recognition between the two countries. I highly appreciate uh, the dedication of NATO in uh, the region, and I consider the K4 mission as a success history. K4 is a guarantor of peace and security in Kosovo and in the region. We are, pa we are now in times of great challenges that ask for bold and fair decisions. In this context, it is my conviction that it is more than justifiable to consider membership of the Republic of Albania in the Euro-Atlantic Alliance. Albania considers uh, the threatening coming from Iran as uh, a concern. As you know, in July and September last year, we faced a very serious cyber crime uh, that was sponsored by um, uh, the uh, Islamic Republic of uh, Iran. In close cooperation with our strategic partners, with NATO and EU, we uh, m managed uh, to uh, reset ourselves in our own foot uh, from this uh, attack, and we've got diplomatic relations so with uh, the Republic of Iran. Cooperation with NATO in this regard is highly appreciated. As a NATO member country and, a candidate, and as a candidate country for the EU, Albania congratulates the signing of the joint NATO-EU declaration, uh, highly appraising the strategic partnership uh, of uh, the EU in the Euro-Atlantic uh, uh, protection. Albania will meet all its obligations in the collective defense uh, context. Uh, the commitments and contributions of Albania into NATO will be stepped up. Currently, we are present in the core mission in uh, Latvia and Bulgaria in the context uh, of, uh, of the advanced presence. Albania has increased its defense budget by 1.86 percent. In the meantime, Albania will continue with the modernization of its armed forces and uh, new uh, fighting and war capacities support uh, with logistic capacities as well. I discussed with the Secretary General about uh, the progress of the air base in Kuchova, which are going in line with the program already approved for this uh, purpose. The Albanian government has expressed its ambition uh, and uh, it has also submitted a project and is welcoming a presence, a maritime presence of NATO in the Porto Romano um, port. Uh, so this naval base uh, helps into providing more mobility of the alliance in the Western Balkans and uh, in the Eastern Wing. Dear Secretary General, thank you very much for the meeting, the very cordial and open meeting we had today. And allow me to say that it is um, my confidence that the Vilnius summit will be another success and will put into life the decisions that were taken at the Madrid summit. Thank you very much for that. Uh, we will start with uh, Radio Television Skepiari in the second row, please. Uh, 
Mimosa Hadjia. I am a journalist at the Albanian Radio Television. I have three questions, the first one going to the Secretary General and two other questions addressed to the President of Albania, Mr. Begay. Mr. Secretary General, at the end of December, there was a concerning situation at the northern part of Kosovo, which seemed to go towards acceleration. Which, in your opinion, are the challenges in Western Balkans vis-à-vis -vis security, and what are the measures that NATO can take in order to address these challenges? The questions to you, Mr. Begay. The open door policies and um, uh, the enlargement of uh, NATO were um, the key words. And uh, in your speech, you said that uh, enlargement with Sweden and Finland uh, are more than necessary. And as, as well, you said that it's high time to consider membership of Kosovo into NATO. Mr. President, do you think that membership of Kosovo is indispensable while NATO itself is present through K4 in Kosovo? First, on NATO's role in Kosovo, NATO has been present in Kosovo for many years. Um, and I also thank Albania for its uh, contribution to our presence there. The K4 uh, presence, the NATO force, uh, has played an extremely important for many years. Uh, we also work hand in hand with the European Union in, uh, in Kosovo. Uh, the K4 uh, presence of the NATO troops uh, um, supports the diplomatic efforts of the European Union. And I welcome uh, the recent uh, talks that were held here in Brussels uh, as part of the EU facilitated uh, dialogue between Pristina and uh, Belgrade. Um, and NATO will uh, continue to fully support uh, the EU-facilitated dialogue between Pristina and Belgrade because we believe that that's the only viable path uh, forward to uh, a solution and to stability uh, in, um, in, uh, in Kosovo. Um, uh, uh, we now have an historic opportunity for lasting peace which could benefit the entire uh, region. Uh, and I therefore uh, welcome the uh, constructive uh, approach. Uh, it is important that all parties now show flexibility and readiness uh, to compromise and uh, are actually uh, showing a, a real will uh, to find a way uh, to find a lasting uh, solutions. Uh, and any solution uh, has to, of course, uh, take into account uh, the full respect of human rights, um, democratic values uh, and the rule of law, domestic reforms and good neighbourly uh, neighbor uh, relationships. So NATO is present in Kosovo. We are taking the situation there very seriously and uh, we strongly support the EU-facilitated dialogue. It is present uh, it is clear that NATO is present in Warsaw Balkans, in particular in Kosovo, with the presence of K4. K4 is a success story. It's a guarantor of security and peace in the region. And security in the region, security in Albania, security in Kosovo, and uh, is translated into security for NATO and security for the EU. I believe that Kosovo is for 15 years now, an independent state is a state that is uh, working every day to build a rule of law that has a clear Euro-Atlantic vision. Albania supports Kosovo in its path in the processes of membership in international organizations or regional organizations, and one of those organizations is without a doubt NATO. This is the reason why uh, I believe that uh, in addition uh, to uh, a K4 uh, presence, uh, the security uh, force of Kosovo by being present in international missions, in my opinion, would be an added value to the alliance. Uh, the Washington Treaty uh, has enabled the establishment of the alliance on some principles and some values. Therefore, any policy of open doors uh, would allow for every country, be it Finland, Sweden, or Kosovo for that matter, to bring um, um, added value to the alliance. Thank you. We have time for one more question. We'll go to uh, AP there, please. Hello, Mark from Associated Press. Mr. Secretary General, you've pointed out many times that the accession <coughs> process has been the fastest in history for Sweden and Finland to get this many ratifications. It still seems like 
Hungary is not quite ready to cross that ratification process. What do you know about the state of Hungary, Hungary's ratification of these two countries? To finalize the accession process is a top priority for NATO and for me. And uh, we are making progress. I met with uh, President uh, Erdogan uh, recently and we agreed uh, to restart the talks. There will be a meeting here in Brussels uh, uh, later on this week uh, where we'll address uh, uh, the implementation of the trilateral uh, memorandum of understanding that was uh, agreed by Finland, Sweden and uh, Turkey at the NATO summit uh, uh, last uh, summer. Um, um, I'm also going actually later today uh, to uh, Sweden and I have uh, seen the, uh, the reports from the Hungarian parliamentary um, delegation that has uh, uh, just visited Sweden and they are sending a positive message and uh, recommending ratification. So of course we still have uh, some way to go. Uh, but we are making progress, and uh, this remains so far the quickest ratification process in NATO's modern history. We have to remember that uh, Finland and Sweden applied in May uh, last year, already in June. Uh, they were invited. All NATO allies, including uh, Turkey uh, and Hungary, um, invited Finland and Sweden, and all NATO allies, including uh, Hungary and uh, Turkey, signed the accession protocols. And, and, and so far, uh, already. Uh, 28 of the 30 allies have ratified and then of course uh, I hope and, uh, and uh, I urge also uh, the two remaining allies, Hungary and uh, Turkey, to do that as soon as possible. Um, um, the Hungarian parliament has uh, announced a plan to do this uh, towards the end of the month and then with the, the delegation visiting uh, Sweden uh, sending uh, a positive message, I think uh, we are uh, making progress and approaching ratification also in Hungary. I'm afraid that's all we have time for. Thank you all very much.